Hello, I'm Laura from Little Angel Theatre. Today I'm going to be reading the story of Hansel and Gretel by the Brothers Grimm. And I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Once upon a time there were two children. The boy's name was Hansel and the girl's name was Gretel. Their mother died when they were very young, which made Hansel and Gretel very sad. Their father was a poor woodcutter and soon he remarried, but their stepmother was very cruel. One day she took the children deep into the forest and she left them there, but clever Gretel had some breadcrumbs in her pocket and she dropped them all the way there so they could find their way back home. Alas, the birds ate all the crumbs and they couldn't find the path. Hansel and Gretel were lost. They walked on all that night and the next day from the morning until the evening, but they could not find their way out of the woods. They walked and they walked until they were in the deepest part of the forest. And there, in the forest, they found a house like no other, as it was built of bread and it was roofed with cakes and the window was of transparent sugar. The children hadn't eaten in three days. So Hansel reached up and broke a bit of the roof just to see how it tasted. And Gretel stood by the window and gnawed at it. Then they heard a thin voice from inside. Nibble, nibble like a mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? And the children answered, never mind, it's the wind. And they went on eating. They were too hungry and excited to worry. Then the door opened and an aged woman came out, leaning upon a staff. She nodded her head and said, oh, what sweet children. You must be lost. Come indoors and stay with me. You will be no trouble. So she took them each by the hand and led them into her little house. And there they found a beautiful meal laid out of milk and pancakes with sugar, apples and nuts. After that, she showed them to two little white beds. Hansel and Gretel laid themselves down on there. They thought they were in heaven. The old woman, although her behavior was so kind, was actually a wicked witch and she had built the little house on purpose to entice hungry children. Once they were inside, she would kill them. She would cook them and she would eat them. Early next morning, she crept in on sleeping Hansel and grasped him with her withered hand. She dragged him into the little stable and shut him up behind grating. He screamed and he screamed, but it was no good. Then she went back to Gretel and shook her, crying, Get up, your lazy bones, and fetch the water. Cook something nice for your brother. He must be fattened up, and when he is fat enough, I will eat him. Each morning, the old woman visited the little stable and cried, Hansel, stretch out your finger. Hansel, however, used to hold out a little bone. And the old woman, who had weak eyes and could not see what it was, supposed it was Hansel's finger and wondered why it wasn't getting any fatter. When four weeks had passed and Hansel seemed to remain so thin, she lost patience and could wait no longer. Be Hansel fat or be him lean. Tomorrow I must kill and cook him. The next morning, Gretel had to get up, make the fire and fill the kettle. First, we will do the baking, said the old woman. I have heated the oven already and kneaded the dough. She pushed Gretel towards the oven out of which the flames were already shining. Creep in, said the witch, and see if it is properly hot, so that the bread may be baked. Once Gretel was in, she meant to shut the door upon her and let her be baked. But Gretel perceived her intention. 
and said, Well, I don't know how to do it. How shall I get in? Stupid goose, said the old woman. The opening is big enough, do you see? I could get in myself. And she stooped down and put her head in the oven's mouth. Then Gretel gave her a big push so that she went in further and she shut the iron door upon her and put up the bar. Oh, how frightfully the witch howled. But Gretel ran away and left the wicked witch to burn miserably. Gretel went straight to Hansel and opened the stable door and cried, Hansel, we are free, the old witch is dead. Then out flew Hansel like a bird from his cage. As, as soon as the door was opened, how rejoiced they both were, how they danced and laughed together. And then, as they had nothing more to fear, they went all over the witch's house. In every corner there stood chests of pearls and precious stones. They filled up their pockets. Now away we go, said Hansel, and they ran out of the house. They sprinted all the way through the forest until at last, in the distance, they saw their home. Hansel and Gretel rushed in through the door and they fell upon their father's neck. The woodcutter wept with joy. He had not had a quiet hour since his children had left, and now their stepmother was dead. When his children showed up with their pockets full of pearls and precious stones, he cried with joy. We will never be hungry again, they laughed. And there was not a care in the world at the end, and they lived happily ever after.